Hi friends, today we are going to make a storage containers out of 8mm uh, thickness plywood 8mm thickness plywood So these type of boxes I am making uh, This is X1 box, X1 size And front you can see 80mm height and uh, width over here is 140 second size box I am making X2 this would be 280 in length and in height you will be having 80 mm here you can see the same X1 and X2 the total of this would be 420 and the third size I am making over here is X3 box size the length of this is 420 mm and uh, height of this is 80 mm. Uh, this I'll be storing onto the wall. Uh, so here you can see the combination of boxes I can arrange over here is like this. The total length would be 180. No, sorry, 420 here. The total length would be 420. I can change the combination of these boxes by using other boxes. Now it is uh, 420, so same down you'll be getting same. Or else I can change this and I can arrange uh, another box over here. So it would be 420, or else. one over here and this will be 420 or else if I am using only two boxes then in this manner from top to bottom I can arrange uh, these trays so let's go how to make this uh, previously I have uh, cutted this all the pieces from uh, 8 by 4 uh, feet plywood sheet by using my table saw my table saw is under this one over here my table saw is over here whenever I want I can uh, lift this table saw up so I can uh, use this above You can see the blade coming up. So I have cutted all the pieces by using my table saw over here. I will take down uh, my saw blade down so I can use this uh, whole table for my assembly right now. And uh, this camera I am using for recording on bench recordings at this position uh, this is my 4k action uh, cam and this is a power supply for that one because uh, there is uh, not much batteries uh, 
capacity for this camera for continuous recording I'll be using uh, a charger for this so now uh, we are starting to do this type of uh, box this one uh, let you show the dimensions of this one this box here the bottom side bottom width is 140 mm the height is 80 this height is 140 this is 40 mm over here and front portion this total is 80 means starting uh, from here to here this much length this total is 80 here you can see the 8 the total is 80 with this thickness also but coming to this front portion you have this this is 124 mm and 72 mm the whole combination with this 8 mm plywood at this borders coming to 80 and 140 this is also the same and coming to the bottom you have uh, this 140 from here to here this total end and uh, from here to here it is 140 and this is the bottom front bottom and this is back coming to this total length is uh, 140 this height this height is 140 this is the back but for coming to the back plate coming to the back this is the back plate this is 122 plus 8 plus 8 and uh, from here leaving this 8 mm this would come to 132 mm and uh, this is the bottom leaving this to 8 mm over here this is 140 124 so I have cutted ample number of pieces and I have already finished uh, uh, some boxes. So totally uh, this size I am making 7 boxes of this size X1. And uh, these type of uh, X2 size boxes. X2 size boxes I am making uh, 4 4 boxes and this is X3 size 420 this I am making 3 boxes so with this combination I can make sorry, vertical uh, tool storage boxes now I am uh, assembling this this box X1 Size and this is the side plates 140, 140, 40, 80. This is the bottom. I'm placing here. This is the front part. I'm placing over here. This is uh, back. I'm placing here. So if I close this get a box like this it is not assembled now let us uh, glue this first I am nailing over here this portion these are the some of the nails I am using for this project this, uh, too tiny this is a uh, 1 mm thickness nailing at the center portion of the bottom can penetrate a little bit out of this one here you can see the small nail penetrating out I'll be using only two nails because uh, after this I have to uh, root this one by using my wood rotor if I use more nails uh, that would become a difficulty for rooting onto the machine that can damage the machine at this position so two nails now I'll glue this portion the front and the back 
I'm using uh, glue, wood glue. I'll wipe off the excess glue. Next, I'll go for the back side. After I apply the glue, I'll use a small support. Uh, this is of same 70 mm height. So like this, keeping this and this over here for tapping this nail to this pole. Then it's time for side plates. Here for the side panel, I'm not using any of the nails. I'm using a tape. Paper tape, this would be very easy to remove off uh, when we have finished with the work. Simply wipe off the excess glue. So here you can see this half of the portion has been completed. Simply wipe off the glue, excess glue with this uh, little finger. I'll be going for this side. Simply lay out this uh, for whole night, giving it sample of time to dry out. I'll uh, lay out this for whole night so this glue can dry off. Okay, in a similar manner, you can make this X2 box also. So instead of using a single nail at this position, I'll be using two nails over here and here. Here, here. two nails. For the bigger box than this, I'll be using three nails. All the process is same. Taping the tape over here for the assembly of side pieces. Now uh, five boxes are ready to make more two boxes. So I'm letting it uh, dry for overnight. So in the morning I'll be peeling off the tapes out of this one and then sanding it for making this surface flush to this one and I'll be using router for making the chamfer at all the positions. For this position, this position and bottom also I will be using the router machine for chamfering this sharp edges and I will be warping this and uh, painting it black. Uh, that you can see in the next video. So this is how we will make the trays for storing tools and other things. Uh, mainly I will be using this small uh, boxes for storing uh, different screws and uh, big boxes for storing hammers and other cutting blades uh, and etc other tools and that. Now I am making uh, X2 box. This is the front. This is the bottom. And this is the back. And sides. Closing like this, you can form a box. Uh, for the X2 box, I am using two nails at this position. I am using uh, four nails, two over here and two over here. Front is finished, next I am going for the back. Next for the sides. Next for the other side.
So by this we have finished the small second box X2 and let it dry for overnight. Uh, now we are making the bigger one X3 box whose length is 4, 404 mm and uh, width is 140 mm and this is the bottom back front and these two sides. We join this. First for the kneeling, I'll uh, mark this. Next, I'll glue it. Glue first small one. I glue back side is finished. I'll move for the other side. The excess glue from the, all the joints. Side and inside use your little finger. With this uh, I have finished gluing all the trays. This is X1, X2, 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 X3, X3 and these are the already glues, glued trays, finished one. I'll leave this all trays uh, for whole night, let it dry and then I'll peel off all the tapes. Then I'll uh, root it for removing excess uh, materials from these ends and these ends and chamfer them and uh, grind or buff them for uh, making ready for the painting uh, totally these small boxes are 7 these x2 are 4 x3 boxes are 3 as you can see all the trays have been uh, dried out for the favicol so now I can remove this tape from this So in this manner, I'll remove all the tape from the boxes. I have removed uh, all the tape plaster from the container. So here I got a pile of uh, plaster. I can make a ball out of this also. Uh, now I'll sand off and uh, root this edges sharp edges all edges all sides and make it smooth and then i'll paint it as you can see that uh, all uh, trace has been taped uh, out now i'm sanding this but from the all the edges i'm using first 60 grit paper for outside all the outside uh, for the inside of the tray I am using this multi cutter. Here also I am using uh, 60 grit paper. After that I will go for uh, 120 grit paper. I will sand it out all the trays for getting smooth texture when I hold like this. So the sharp corners doesn't damage or injure my hands.
for the outside I have uh, done all the grinding over here with 160 grit then I'll move for uh, 120 grit this is 120 grit paper I'll stick on to this uh, for uh, inside one for this this I'll be I'll be using the multi cutter So I have finished the internal also, you can see the difference, round chamfer and all edges are smooth. Now I will change this for the 120 grit, this one, this is LT, then now I will be going for a 120 and uh, external edges also I will go with the 120 grit. So in this manner I will round off or grind it all the boxes. This is X1, this is X3, this is X2. I will grind it off all the things and then I will come to the back. As you can see all the trays has been uh, rounded off to the flushing of this side but uh, these sides are sharp so for this purpose I am uh, rooting this by my router I have fixed my uh, normal uh, hand router to the table invertedly so, and uh, I can control the on off by my foot And uh, I have rooted some of this uh, boxes. Here you can see this is sharp, but now you can see this is elliptical. Ch little fillet has been provided over here by my fillet uh, router bit. So in this process, I'll uh, root all the boxes from this corners this corners, this corners inside and here also here also you can see the round chamfer fillet over this position you can see this one, this is not rooted, this is square over here and it may damage when I am taking the box uh, like this so I will root all the edges by my router Now I am starting with this box. Has uh, have uh, rooted all the edges. Now I am doing uh, internal sides with my multi cutter this is 60 grit paper as you can see the edges over here are smooth inside edges and outside edges we have rooted with the router machine now inside edges has been done with this uh, 
मल्टी कटो वाइब्रेटिंग टूल आई एम कटिंग दी स्लॉट Three centimeters from here, so I can cut uh, the slot, and uh, I lower the blade for this thickness. This thickness, I lower the blade. Here you can see the split and step cut. so this step in a reverse manner so i can insert this for this i'll repeat this step for all these three finally the board has been made for arranging uh, the trays you can see all the trays uh, this forms four rows one Two, three, and four rows over here. I have cutted uh, this 35 mm width and 18 mm thickness plywood in these shapes. You can see this one. This channels I have cutted and uh, later I have drilled here. And here the slots are created for uh, accumulating all the trays. And these board can be interchanged with the, all the trays. means uh, larger tray can be placed over here or the small tray or else medium tray can be placed uh, in these positions and these uh, accumulates very easily and uh, coming to the measurements of this one this measures around uh, 35 inches and uh, this length over 29 inches and this board would be coming on this wall by drilling so drilling the board onto the wall i'm using uh, these screws and these wooden beading which will go into this holes four holes i have made for this and uh, from the workbench i am using 4 uh, inches height for here because i have to I have to accumulate some of the materials over here at this bench and i can't uh, keep the bench keep the board on to the bench so for that 4 inches height i am using hammer drill and uh, 6 mm wall bit Uh, but previously uh, drilling onto the wall first i'll uh, mark uh, these holes this holes with uh, the snail i'll remove the nails then i'll remove the board also uh, these are the places i have to drill 1 2 3 and 4 now i'll be drilling uh drilling is finished then i'll plug the wall plugs after wall plugging i have uh, poked a hole so easily screw can uh, penetrate into this one and here here and here four holes have been uh, made next i'll arrange the board
No, I'll dry the. The board has been uh, fitted. Now I am arranging the trays. This is the large one. Medium. These are the small. And finally, you can see all the trays have been arranged, and uh, we can change these trays. For whatever arrangement we require, if uh, we don't uh, require this tray over here, we can change to here, or else we can change to here simply by replacing these. Whatever combination we want, we can make for this, and we can store uh, wide varieties of tools. So finally we have finished uh, our tray holder. Finally the trays has been ready and I uh, have uh, numbered them. Uh, this is uh, size 1, box 1. And the dimensions for this is uh, 72, 140 and 124 for this side and uh, uh, total box is uh, 140 by 80. This is box B1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and uh, that one 7, 7 boxes small. And B2 size boxes I have here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4, B2 size and uh, B3 size, this is the bigger one, 1, 2 and 3. And uh, the board has been fixed onto the wall, here you can see it. And uh, these notches are for uh, modular things, whatever boxes we want and uh, up, down or 4 rows, we can arrange there. These are the notches, uh, are made particularly for these boxes, 8mm, this slot is 8mm. Uh, hi friends, now I am arranging all the boxes there. Uh, bottom I will be arranging the bigger one. Next I will be arranging the B2 box. Next I will be arranging the B1 box. On the top row I will be arranging uh, the remaining boxes. Here I have uh, B1, B2 and B3. One, two, three. Here you can see all the boxes have been arranged. Now we can interchange them also. Now you can see the, bot the bigger one is the bottom and the uh, second one is uh, B2, second box and third one is the third row, small box. So I can interchange them for the, any of the combinations over there. Suppose I want uh, second tray over here, I can remove the two of the tray. This will fit exactly here and I can play the smallest. Or else uh, here I want the bigger one and the smaller one. I can change that also. And you know, Here you can see I have changed the B2 at the top. If I want uh, some of the boxes over here also, I can uh, place them down. There you can see the combination. So in this manner we can change uh, any of the trays over here.
any trace can be changed uh, from one position to another position they are modular and i can even slide this to this position easy placing uh, the boxes are very easy tilt to at some angle and take it down i'll show you here just keep it some angle and push it up and leave it this edge will support this box to maximum weight uh, around uh, 10 to 15 kg uh, they can weigh and uh, these screws are strong enough to withstand up to that load for these type of boxes uh, i don't think that uh, this this box can uh, accommodate uh, that weight but uh, if i keep any rods or else uh, some heavy weights like metal bars or some other lightweight tools i can place them here no problem uh, this can take maximum weight up to 15 kg or else more than 15 kg also it can weigh uh, because uh, the plywood is uh, sufficient for carrying that load and this is my workbench uh, i have all the tools over here so this uh, modular trace uh, comes handy in placing all the varieties of tools while working so whatever combination you want we can make it